Hello everyone, this is Michael Smith with Tekken 2. Today we're going to look at how to create a spl Michigan splint in our InLab 19 software. We select our active gel, which will be the upper on this one. I want to create a Michigan splint. Move forward, check my model axis, make sure all is well there. Preparing model, this is if you need to do any type of uh, alterations to your model fix some holes, whatnot. Typically you would do this in the CAD software instead of in the uh, splint software. So we want to determine our insertion axis and then fabricate our uh, block out. At this point what we'd like to do is we would like to go in and if we need to remove or add block out we can do so in this stage. You will choose form for add I like to add all along the buckle aspect of the block out. It helps in creating a an easier finish line. Then I'll come back and I will remove on the occlusal portion. I want to make sure that I get this seated well on the occlusal aspect and the incisal aspect of my teeth. I usually create mine by a line. Now we have a proposed uh, perimeter for our splint. All looks pretty good there. Now I'll just go ahead and propose it. Now I typically do plane of occlusion. That way I create a nice flat plane. I hit apply. Now I have a nice flat plane occlusion splint. Uh, Typically, I'm going to adjust my occlusal thickness down a half millimeter. So I just simply hit apply again. It will remove, I think I had it set at two, so it will remove a half millimeter there. Now I've got a half millimeter. I can go forward. Here's my splint. This is flat plane. You could look at how it's going to chew against the opposing. So since we have indentation all around, what I typically do, I come over here to Articulated Grinding. Now I have an indention of the opposing. I'll hit Add Grinded Area, so it's going to remove, kind of give you a functional guide plane uh, reduction of your occlusal surface of your splint. And then I will mill or print this and then finish it on the articulator and we're done.